going on everyone? DSP here, and uh, I literally just walked in the door and got back from Too Many Games, a uh, game convention in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is going to be like a recap video explaining everything that kind of happened over the weekend, some of the funny stuff that happened over the weekend, uh, and what we experienced on this trip. And then after this video, I am going to do one more video where I'm going to talk about all the really neat stuff that I actually picked up at Too Many Games. I kind of had the feeling that I was going to end up spending money, and I did, and I spent a lot of money. And uh, But I got a lot of really neat stuff. And so the video after this one is going to be me showing you everything that I picked up at this event. Uh, and also uh, giving plugs you know, to some of the people uh, who created some of this really awesome stuff. So that way, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you can check out their websites and contact them directly. Okay? But first of all, uh, if you haven't been following along, uh, you wouldn't know what's really happened this weekend. But... Our whole plan here was that uh, myself, John Rambo, and his friend John were going to leave from my place around 9 a.m. on Saturday morning. The trip to Philadelphia is roughly three and a half hours, so we figured maybe three and a half, four hours would be up there. And we even accounted for time. We figured if we leave at 9, our panel, we actually had a panel scheduled at Too Many Games uh, for 4 p.m. I mean, we had plenty of time to get up there if we left at 9. You know, seven hours of travel, there's no way that we wouldn't make it in time. Well... Holy crap, I mean, all, our, all circumstances basically conspired against us, and it kind of sucks because I prepared for this panel, I had a 20-minute presentation I wanted to give, I actually bought a projector specifically for this panel, uh, and really it was going to be a really good opportunity for us to meet the fans, to give a primer of kind of what I was about to people who maybe weren't necessarily fans and could learn about me for the first time. So, I had all this stuff prepared, and... Uh, you know, first of all, I want to apologize to everyone before I even get into it. Anyone who did intend to to attend this panel on Saturday uh, obviously didn't happen, and I apologize. I mean, just ridiculous bad luck, ridiculous circumstances conspiring against us. For what I can say is if we do something like this again, which we do want to do because we found out there was massive interest. There were actually over 20 people there just to meet John and I and to attend the panel, and people were constantly asking Paul, the events director, all weekend what was going on with me, and luckily I was able to contact Paul and let him know what was going on so he could tell the fans what was happening, but um, yeah, it just was not a good situation, so I want to apologize in advance. The next time if we do do one of these things, we're going to try to go a whole day ahead of time, so that way if crazy stuff happens, there's nothing that's going to prevent us from actually attending the event. But anyway, so here's what happened. We are supposed to leave my place around 9 a.m., uh, but then I got a call from John around 9. He says, you're never going to believe this. I'm actually, I stayed over at my friend's house. His friend lives in Stamford, Connecticut. And uh, there's gridlock on side streets. Like, they couldn't even get to the highway for an hour and a half. So right off the bat, they were planning to be here by 9. They didn't even get here till a little bit after 10. And the reason was a massive accident, but they weren't aware of what the accident was at the time. So they picked me up here, and then we had to head back that way through Stanford to get to New York. So we start going, and we see what the problem was. The problem was literally a, a, a semi truck had flipped completely over on its back. I'm not exaggerating. All we could see were the wheels of this truck. I mean, it's absolutely insane what we were seeing. And basically, there was that side of the highway was shut down. Our side had rubbernecking because everyone was staring at this like, holy fucking shit, we can't believe what we're seeing. And uh, so because of that, there was funny, there was like maybe a cop maybe an engineer, a crane, there was a giant crane and a crane operator, all kinds of people stand there kind of staring at this truck trying to figure out how the hell they were going to flip it back over and get it off the highway. It was an insane accident. And uh, that alone caused us about another two hours of delay just to get by that. So we're talking three and a half hours of delays before we even got out of Connecticut. Then we crossed the New York border and there's another insane accident. The other side of the highway is closed yet again and it's gridlocked. I mean, absolute gridlocked. And I made a video of it. You can see it on DSP Gaming if you haven't seen it yet. Just complete gridlock. It was actually so bad that we had nothing to do. And we decided to film this week's edition of Smart Guys on the highway because we weren't moving. And so that edition of Smart Guys is over on John Rambo's channel, uh, John Rambo Presents on YouTube. If you want to check that out, we actually took a 20-minute episode of Smart Guys because there was nothing else to do. So uh, finally, after about another hour there, the traffic started moving, but at that point, with four and a half hours of delays, then it took us the four hours to get to Philly, or, well, sorry, it's not really Philly, it was the Oaks Pennsylvania Convention Center, which is right next door to Philly, 
we just couldn't get there in time for the panel. So I did let Paul know. I texted him. I said, listen, I'm so sorry. We did not expect to have to do a nine-hour drive to get to there. It's really a four-hour drive, and it's just insane circumstances going on. And so Paul said, all right, you know, not your fault, nothing you can do, but are you still coming? And we said, yeah, we're still coming. We're going to get there ASAP. So we actually got to the hotel around 6 p.m., if you can still think about this. They left Stanford at 8 a.m. We didn't get there till 6 p.m. That's insane. A 10-hour drive to get there. So we finally get there and we're unpacking. I get a text from Paul. He's like, Phil, people actually are still here. They stayed two hours after your panel was supposed to happen. They're dying to meet you. Can you get here? I said, all right. So we dropped everything, we downloaded as much as we could, and we went over there, and I want to say thank you to everyone who did stick around. There was about maybe a dozen to 15 people who stuck around. It was really awesome meeting everyone, and uh, like I promised, I signed anything that they wanted. Uh, I really hope that you know you enjoyed meeting me and you know talking to me and John for, for a little while there. And uh, we stuck around basically from around 6.30 to just about 8 o'clock. And at that point, the whole convention was winding down because the marketplace at this convention, which is really the meat of it, closed around 6 p.m. on Saturday. And so people were leaving, and there really wasn't anyone left by 8. So we said, well, we're tired as hell from being on the road all day. Let's just go grab something to eat, and then we'll reconvene tomorrow, which is exactly what we did. So today, we came back, and uh, we were there from roughly 10 a.m. to about maybe 3, 3.30, I'd say. Uh, I entered the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament that they had there, and I actually won the tournament, which is pretty crazy. Uh, it was run by TGS, and I, I apologize, but I don't remember what those initials stand for. Uh, I wish I had grabbed a card, but I didn't. But, um, yeah, so I won that. There's going to be there's footage of that. You should have actually, now I'm thinking about it, you would have already seen it, because I'm uploading the footage in order today, of the order that stuff happened. So, yeah, I did win that tournament. Um and won a prize, and I'm going to show you that in the next video where I show you all the stuff I picked up at this event. Uh, in addition to that, I met a lot of cool people. Again, there were more fans there, and I, I was happy to meet them. Um, picked up a lot of really neat stuff. I mean, there's people there that make, all, like I said, the t-shirts, all kinds of different art, unique art, which is really sweet. Game vendors, I picked up some games, which I'm going to show you in the next video. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Now, some of the funny stuff that happened... Uh, it was funny, on Saturday there was a, a girl there, an African-American girl dressed as Tifa Lockhart, playing DDR, so it was pretty funny that, that it just kind of, you know, throws you off when you see that, you're like, whoa, you know, from the back she actually kind of looked Asian, and you look in the front, you're like, whoa, okay, <laughs> and then the f absolute funniest thing today was that we saw a guy, I, just, I kid you not, there was a white guy wearing a Boba Fett helmet, had some kind of a Nerf gun, and he's running around, not in a t-shirt, not in jeans or anything. He has a button-down black Wing Street Pizza Hut work t-shirt or work shirt. So obviously this guy works at Wing Street Pizza Hut, and he wore that shirt instead of like a t-shirt with the Boba Fett helmet. It was pretty damn funny. It's like Boba Fett. Boba Fett's gonna deliver your pizzas and wings. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Uh, and then John's friend John wore his Dan Hibiki outfit, which you've seen over on John Rambo Presents in several videos before. So he wore that to the convention, which was pretty cool. Uh, well. I don't know. It was interesting. Let's put it that way. I personally would never dress up like that, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, the convention was great. I wheeled and dealed a little bit. I got some discounts on some of the stuff that I bought, which was pretty cool. And uh, it was fun overall. My biggest regret is number one, missing the panel. And number two, it seems like actually Friday and Saturday were the busiest days. And we completely missed the busiest times of this convention because we didn't know what was going on with the traffic or anything. And there were no concerts on Sunday. We thought Saturday night or Sunday there would be concerts. They weren't. The concerts that were there were on Friday, so we completely missed them, uh, which sucks. But that is what it is. Um, so, yeah, that's a summary of the weekend. Uh, we are actually, we, we, we enjoyed it at least for the times that we were there. We saw there was enough fan interest to warrant doing it again. So, definitely what we'd like to do is maybe look into something like Kineticon, which is a... a, a uh, an event coming up in July in Connecticut. Since that's close by, that's kind of a no-brainer. So we're going to look into that, uh, and I'll give you more information on that as it happens. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's a recap of everything that happened this weekend. It was a crazy weekend. And uh, the weekend preview video for this week, obviously I don't have time to do it now. I just got home. It's 10 o'clock. I'm tired as hell. I'm making more videos, and I'm going to upload them and just relax here. So the weekend preview video will come tomorrow, where I'll talk about what I'm going to be doing this week, uh, including playing Brink, including... 
probably doing some more Motorstorm Apocalypse and anything else that may come up this week. So, uh, and if PSN ever comes up, which still there's no schedule for it to come up, which I'm not surprised at. So anyway, that's it for this video. That was the recap. That was uh, you know, kind of my final thoughts and everything that's going on. I'm going to make one more video after this one where I'm going to show you all the cool stuff I picked up at this event. I think you're really going to enjoy it because a lot of stuff was really neat. And uh, I'm actually, I was sure to grab anyone who I bought something from, I grabbed a card so that I can give them a plug because a lot of this stuff is really awesome and you might be interested in getting it too. So, all right, I'll be right back with one more video where we're going to go through all the stuff that I picked up at Too Many Games, the acquisitions video. So, stay tuned.